Anyone who's taken a science class knows that in nature, the name of the game isn't strength, it's efficiency. Every species on the planet has evolved to survive with as little effort and as much payoff as possible. That goes double for nature's killing machines. Sitting atop of the food chain, predators have more competition for survival and dominance than you might think. To stay at the top, they've had to smooth out the wrinkles in their technique and become as efficient as possible. These alpha predators aren't always the species you'd expect. Big cats, for example, are actually pretty sloppy killers. One study of Bengal tigers said that only about 5% of hunts result in a kill. Not exactly nature's perfect predators. It doesn't take fans or claws to rack up an impressive kill count. You just have to have a plan and stick to it. In this video, we will present to you the most efficient murderers in nature. Some of the candidates might surprise you. Number 10. Wolf Wolves are an extraordinary predator that play an extremely important role in healthy, thriving ecosystems. A predator's life is not an easy one. Almost every time they are hungry, wolves must find and bring down prey. Each predator has its own tools and hunting strategies. Wolves use their incredible sense of smell, combined with excellent hearing abilities to help them find prey. Wolves chase and test their prey, looking for the animals they can kill while expending as little energy as possible and decreasing chances of injury. Large ungulates like deer, moose, elk, and caribou are wolves' primary sources of food. Wolves will also eat smaller animals like beavers, rabbits, and mice. When hunting larger game, the wolf pack separates out and surrounds its prey. Wolves usually bite the shoulders and flank. While some pack members approach the prey from the rear, other wolves seize the prey by the nose. When they are successful, wolves do not eat in moderation. A single animal can consume 20 pounds of meat in a sitting. Number 9. Lion Lions are famous for being the king of the jungle. Their fearsome stature and reputation place them near the top of the food chain. However, lions have earned their reputation because they are indeed efficient hunters. Lions are the archetypal apex predators, but their hunting success rate strongly depends on the number of lions involved. A single lion hunting in daylight has a success rate of 17 to 19 percent, but this increases for those hunting as a group to 30 percent. Although males make formidable killers, they're generally lousy hunters because of their mane. Turns out, it's not great for the element of surprise. Plus, they tire easily, though they will hunt if they're alone. They prefer to fight other males for dominance, and when they kill, it's usually the young of defeated rivals. Lone females prefer smaller animals, but males sometimes rush in to help with the bigger prey. When they're in a pack, they go after bigger prey like zebras, antelopes, and other predators like leopards, cheetahs, and hyenas. Typically, the attack is short and powerful, as they attempt to catch victims with a fast rush and final leap. Prey is usually killed by strangulation. Number 8. Leopard The leopard is a graceful animal with an elongated body, relatively short legs, and a long tail. The leopard's hunting technique is to either ambush its prey or stalk it. In either instance, it tries to get as close as possible to its target, and then makes a brief and explosive charge, pouncing on its prey and dispatching it with a bite to the neck. Leopards do not have the aptitude to chase their quarry over any kind of distance, and will give up if the initial element of surprise is lost and the intended victim gets away. Studies carried out on leopards have revealed wide-ranging success rates, varying from 38% for individuals in northeast Namibia to 14% in the Kalahari. A female with cubs has been shown to have a kill rate of 28%, while a lone male can only achieve 14%. Number 7. Peregrine Falcon Peregrine falcons are very strong flyers and are often reported to be the fastest birds in the world. When stooping or dropping on prey with their wings closed, it's been calculated that peregrine falcons can achieve speeds of 238 miles per hour. When hunting, peregrines start by watching from a high perch, or by flapping slowly or soaring at a great height. Stoops begin at 300 to 3,000 feet above their prey and end either by grabbing the prey or by striking it with the feet hard enough to stun or kill it. They then catch the bird and bite through the neck to kill it. Peregrine falcons do have other hunting methods, including level pursuit, picking birds out of large flocks, 
and occasionally even hunting on the ground. Number 6. Great White Shark Often described as the ultimate shark, the Great White needs no introduction. Great Whites use their speed and colouring to help them hunt. They search for prey at the surface of the ocean while swimming below. Once they spot a target, they use a burst of speed to bump their prey while simultaneously biting it. They have several rows of teeth that can be numbered into the thousands. As teeth fall out, they are rapidly replaced by those in the row behind them. These sharp serrated teeth can be devastating, a single large bite can be fatal. When great white sharks are young, they feed on smaller prey, like fish and rays. As they grow larger, they feed more exclusively on marine mammals, such as sea lions, seals, and small whales. Number 5. Cheetah Cheetahs are known to be the fastest land animal in the world, reaching speeds of up to 60 miles per hour in a few seconds flat. Despite this speed, it is short-lived, meaning their hunting tactics must be spot on to ensure capturing prey. Cheetahs stalk as close as possible to their prey and initiate the high-speed chase once they are close enough. They trip the prey with their dew claw and then kill it with a stranglehold to the neck. Once the prey is dead, the cheetah needs to start eating very quickly, as the other predators in the area will soon arrive and chase the cheetah off. Cheetahs will never return to a kill and only eat fresh meat. They also never scavenge, so if they can't capture or kill their own prey because they are sick or injured, they will starve to death. They also obtain most of their moisture from their kills. A study from the Serengeti in 2012 observed 192 cheetah pursuits, of which 114 ended in a kill, a success rate of 58%. Number 4. Black-Footed Cat The black-footed cat is one of the smallest cat species in the world, and the smallest in America. They use three very different techniques to nab their prey. One method is known as fast hunting, in which the cat bounds quickly and, almost randomly, through the tall grass, flushing out small prey such as birds or rodents. Another one of their methods takes them on a slower course through their habitat, with the cats weaving quietly and carefully to sneak up on potential prey. Finally, they use a sit and wait approach near rodents' burrows, a technique called still hunting. Because of their calculated hunting moves, they are known even to catch birds in flight. In one night, a black-footed cat kills between 10 and 14 rodents or small birds, averaging a kill every 30 to 50 minutes. With a 60% success rate, black-footed cats are about three times as successful as lions. Number 3. African Wild Dogs Wild dogs have the most structured social order of the carnivores, living in packs led by a dominant male and female. All other members of the pack play a subordinate role to the alpha pair. Wild dogs will fan through the bush looking for a herd of antelope. More often than not, they will be impaler. Once they have located a herd, the most vulnerable member is singled out, usually a female and young antelope. A subordinate male wild dog usually starts the hunt by trying to isolate the animal from the rest of the herd. Once the target has been identified and separated, the alpha male takes over the lead of the hunt and the deadly endurance race begins. Wild dogs are high stamina hunters capable of maintaining a 40 km per hour pace over 5 km, and increasing this to burst of more than 60 km per hour for short distances. The pack splits up during the hunt, with some dogs trying to drive the fleeing prey in a circle towards the others. If this fails, they press on with determination, taking it in relays to increase the pace, nipping and tearing at the fleeing victim each time it slows down. They literally run their quarry to exhaustion. Once the animal collapses, the dogs immediately begin feeding even before their prey has died from loss of blood. The lean frames and endearingly large ears of African wild dogs are deceptive. They are one of the most successful predators anywhere, with a kill rate per chase of more than 85%. Number 2. Killer Whale True to their name, killer whales are effective hunters. They prey on seals, sea lions, fish, seabirds, turtles, octopuses, and squid. Orcas will even attack other whales, including the enormous blue whale, which can measure over three times their size. They have also been known to breach the surface to grab sea lions and seals, even partially jumping onto ice floes to reach their target. Killer whales hunt in pods, or groups, in a way similar to wolves. They circle their prey and force them into smaller areas before attacking. Once cornered, the orcas take turns biting and ramming their prey. 
sending sound waves that travel underwater killer whales use echolocation as a means of hunting. The reverberating sounds provides information about an object's location, size, and shape. Number 1. Dragonfly Think of a deadly predator and you may imagine a powerful shark or a ferocious lion, but dragonflies are nature's most successful predators when it comes to catching prey. The winged insects catch more than 95% of the prey it engages with. Dragonflies eat mosquitoes and other small insects such as flies, bees, ants, and wasps, as well as the occasional butterfly, which they hunt around marshes, lakes, ponds, streams, and wetlands. The reason the dragonfly is such as effective a hunter as it is, is that when targeting its prey, the insect keeps it in sight while adjusting its flight, and can predict how it will move before catching it. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you'd like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching.